So I am heading over to Thornelli's, which is a, a local spider uh, spider garage. Uh, they they ride spiders as well. His wife rides a motorcycle and a spider. And uh, been riding for years. They're also uh, they also ride with a chapter. I forgot the name of it, but I'll put it down in there. But they ride with a huge. Uh, I think a Christian chapter, and so uh, they uh, ride as well, but they own this spider garage, and when I tell you it's a blessing to be able to have, uh, you know, a garage locally, not too close, I mean, not too far away where you can take your bike to have work done on it if you're not going to do it yourself, it's a blessing, huge blessing. And uh, and I'm just grateful that uh, I have that option, you know. It's a blessing to have that option. Most people don't have that. And, and that's one of my pet peeves or gripes about Can-Am. You know, you can't even really call the Can-Am dealerships, not that they have any dealerships, because it's usually another dealership that sells, uh, that doesn't sell Can-Ams exclusively. So they sell a lot of other uh, off-road and on-road vehicles, ATVs and things of that nature. And so, you know, they're not dedicated to exclusively working on Can-Am Spiders. So, let's see. I think, yes, this is their street. I know I'm going to have to wait for my husband because he's behind traffic. And here we are. Hello. How you doing? So after dropping my bike off at the garage, we had a little time to meander. So stop we got some time to burn. Stop it. Don't tell me to stop it. Stop it. We're in true value. He was looking for A Smart. But I've come to the, the city, I, I, I've come to learn that He's these look. Ace, not A Smart. Yes. So we end up at True Value. And it's a store where men meander. <laughs> <laughs> they don't need anything. They just like looking for stuff. You're going to have to start paying me for your content. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. Look at it. Oh, they got brushes. <laughs> brushes for what? Motors. So, like right now, my drill is acting up. It's usually it's the brushes. My Dremel is acting up. Mm -hmm. They got brushes. See? See? I know where to go. See? And only because. This is he why was... we meander. But then when you ask me to solve a problem, guess what? Oh, I know where to go get that. Let me get that for you. <laughs> Look, 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 look. James needed a clamp. They went back for the auto parts store. Go to True Value, bro. Right there. And if you meander long enough, <laughs> your fine. spider's ready for, for pickup. <laughs> yeah, so we dropped my can spider off to get the Bajoran rod installed, get the oil changed. And all that good stuff, and so we got some time. Grade A bolts, that's what you want. Grade A. As opposed to? These are hard. These are strong. See, I'm learning something today. Mm -hmm. When men meander, you learn about grade A bolts. <laughs> Where you go? I don't want to lose you <laughs> to your meandering and true value. <laughs> I even I even saw all the stuff to fix the screens to the window and I'm like you mean to tell me you could fix the screen to my window upstairs to my office yeah I could have been did it what <laughs> you never asked for it oh my lord I shouldn't have to ask it should be done what do you, you need that to 
If I build my uh, J pole antenna, you need 200 psi PVC to put it in. It's for ham radio. Too many hobbies. No. Too many hobbies. No, that's for the end times. We don't need the radio. <laughs> oh, look at him. Look at him. It's like Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you have a problem, um, but bring it in and we'll check it. So I'll just bring them and let them check it. I don't stress. It's okay. You're riding a bike, all right? <laughs> I'm gonna be like I said. I'm gonna be in a group with y'all. I'm gonna be riding in the car. No, you're following. Right. And this is what you call the good ride of faith. You know, when the Lord put it on my heart uh, to name this channel Adventures of Fearless Faith. It... Baby, when I tell you whatever you call yourself trying to attempt to do, you will be tested in doing it. If you call yourself trying to have faith, you're going to be tested it's like weightlifting. How you build up your muscles? Lift more weight. How you build your faith? You got to do more things or experience more things that cause you to strengthen your faith. So this bike issue. That's what we're dealing with right now. The bike issue. Yeah, this is my video testimony. Because I'm a little bummed out. Yeah, I can tell by the granddaddy pose. What's the granddaddy pose? There you go. <laughs> okay, he, my husband can always tell when I'm stressed about something or I'm in deep concern for something. Because my grandfather would always do this when he was, you know, when he was having those moments. <laughs> so my husband calls this my granddaddy moment, and it is. It's a granddaddy moment. Have faith. I am. I'm trying to have. I'm. I'm. I'm not gonna try my half faith. You know, is this is this is one of those Red Sea moments? Okay, this is a Red Sea moment when the ride to to the Carolinas is in front of you, and Pharaoh's behind you, <laughs> and you're trying to get to Carolina and Myrtle Beach, and you don't see no way impossible to do it because of the Red Sea that's in front of you. You know. All this stuff going on with my bike the last minute. Uh, so we can't get uh, uh, the, the mechanic that usually takes care of all the things on our bike outside of the honeydew garage. Um, he, he doesn't do transmission work. And that kind of bummed me out because we would prefer to sow a seed into him, give him that money. Um, but he doesn't do that. So we call the Mancuso back. And they're they're uh they like Tamar Braxton, they booked to capacity, you know, they booked. <laughs> they, they booked. Um but he could fit us in on May 4th, okay? May 3rd. May 3rd. Now mind you, May 4th we leave because of uh uh got a play date with the grandbaby because our daughter is graduating from uh college. So we have to, you know, go do our grandbaby duties, grandma, grandparent duties, and love that, enjoy, it, looking forward to it. But we have to go do that. But the bike, trying to get the bike service before we leave to go do that. We leave on the 18th for the uh, vacation ride, and it's just one thing after another. You know, you you, I rode over there today thinking, mm, okay, that's it. That's all I got to do. You know, uh, ride over there, get the oil change, get the um, uh, the Bajoran rod is installed on it and I'm good. You know, but he noticed the, the red dust around the, um, the sprocket. Was the sprocket, right, Andre? Yes. Around the sprocket. And, uh, and, 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 and here we are. So we're going to take it. We have an appointment to take it over to Mancuso's, um, and let them look at it and, you know, and just kind of reassure us because I do not want to get out on the road on a vacation ride and be the problem child. <laughs> <laughs> it's you! 
and be the problem mm-hmm. child. Because what we figured out is that after most vacation rides, if you don't see people uh, after the vacation rides at the chapter meetings and you don't really see them around anymore, nine times out of 10, excuse my French, but some shit has popped off. And, <laughs> and you know, they stop coming around or, they, you know, they get in their feelings. And, and I don't want that to happen. I want to be, I don't want to be the problem child on this first vacation ride. I want to be, I want to be the golden child. <laughs> and I even wore my shirt. Not today, Satan. But again, like I said, I think we give Satan too much credit, you know, because oftentimes it's, you know, it's like that old saying, maybe you're being considered. (laughs) Maybe there was a conversation going on and uh, you're being considered. So I think that's one of these moments. Maybe I should have named this channel (laughs) Adventures of Being Considered. <sighs> Bye. <laughs> Gone. At least somebody can ride their bike. <laughs> <sighs> In the meantime, Well, I guess while I'm uh, sitting here trying not to wallow in the self-pity of issues with my bike, um, I guess I let's let's talk about some of the stuff that I that I may be taking on this uh, first chapter ride. <clears throat> so anyway, I'm gonna stay hopeful. I'm gonna stay in faith and trust that everything is gonna work out. Um, that my bike is going to be, uh, the issue with the bike, the sprocket is going to be resolved. And uh, I'm not crossing any fingers. I'm going to lock it up in prayer and just leave it in God's hands because I, I, I can't. I can't. 2024 is showing this hole behind. But um, anyway, I thought, you know, while I got some time on my hand, let's talk about some of the things that I uh, got to take on this trip with me. Uh, first things first is I added, um, it's called motor mounts. It's a mount to my helmet because I wanted to add my, uh, GoPro 12 onto my helmet. I, I battled with this a lot because I really didn't want to add anything onto this expensive butt helmet, but, um, I wanted another level of, um, recording, you know, another dimension to recording, um, content and so um, I found this motor mount this chin mount and I really liked it because most of the chin mounts only have one point of contact which is right here in the front but as you can see this chin mount has point of contact through the bottom and the sides right here so it uh the makers are located in um, the UK so it took a while to get here. It took a long time to get here. And um, finally got in. <clears throat> so that's the motor mount for that. I'm filming with the GoPro 12 because this is the first time using it um, in this particular context is filming some content in the house. Usually I have it attached to the bike, but I wanted to see how it works. So anyway, um, what else? And my husband, well, he went on the vacation ride to Sturgis and they had to wash their clothes and everything. And so, you know, everybody was going around looking for dishwasher, uh, washing laundry tabs and tablets and liquid and all of that stuff. And so I found it's by uh, Clean People and it's laundry sheets. And so I thought that would be really good to pack on the bike with us instead of trying to find laundry pots and dishwash a uh, uh, laundry liquid and stuff but they're little sheets and they dissolve in the water with your clothes so ordered them through amazon i think it was a pack of you get 32 loads out of it so and you can rip it apart so you don't have to use the whole sheet but um so i'm packing that bringing that along and 
I don't know about y'all, but usually we get, you know, when you're eating, you spill stuff on your t-shirts and everything and you get oil um, on them. But I found this little bitty small bottle of uh, dishwashing liquid, which is really good to get stains out. So to pre-treat because I, I don't like t-shirts with stains on them. That's just me. But I figure if we're going to wash our clothes and if I get any stains on my t-shirts, which I don't like, um, you know, I can pre-treat my t-shirts and wash them and don't have to deal with any uh, stains on them. Then I thought, you know, once we get there and that first night, I want to take a nice hot bath. And so in my Christmas stocking this year or last year, my, uh, family, my daughter-in-law, but yeah, I think my daughter-in-law gave me a whole pack of this, uh, no, was it? No, she gave me the facial mask stuff. This is my husband. He gave me uh, the Dr. Dr. Teal's bath stuff. And so it's a little nice size travel size of uh, Epsom salt, eucalyptus spearmint. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to throw this in my bag and have that for the first night to sit in some hot water and soak these old bones. So I'm going to do that. And you guys probably heard me talking about the Cena Mesh Port Red. So this is compatible with only the GoPro 12, okay? And what this is, okay, if you've ever noticed how people are recording content and you they're riding on their bikes and you can actually hear their voice through their content, um, sometimes they narrate it, which is what I do a lot, come home, edit the footage, and then do narration over the video footage. Well, with this, the Cena Mesh Port Red, your, this little device right here allows you to um, sync up everyone's Cena's on their helmet, okay? Uh, this is my Cena on my helmet. So it allows you to um, put everyone that's on the ride into a mesh group, a group, and you can record their audio into the GoPro 12. Okay. Now I'm only using this for my husband and I, so I'll probably only record just our voices. It works on channel one. Um, but because we're going to be on a group ride with other chapter members, I don't want to use this, uh, the mesh port red and capture everybody's you know, voice and what they're saying. I don't want to, you know, intrude on their privacy and what they're going to be talking about. What well, we're going to be talking about as a chapter on the ride. So I'll probably only use the mesh port um, footage or, or um, use that for when me and my husband are kickstands up heading toward the ride, heading uh, for kickstands up toward the ride and just capturing just me and him, you know, talking, um, in that portion of the ride. I'm not going to use that with everybody um, voices in there. Don't want to do that. I don't want to have to deal with all that editing and getting people cut out of stuff. So not going to do that. But if you ever wondered how to get your video footage, get your audio from your, your headset, your Cena's uh, synced up into your recording device, GoPro or whatever, mainly it only works with the GoPro 12. It's the Cena Mesh Port Red, okay? And in order, this doesn't work with the 360, your 10, or your 8, or your 9 GoPro. It only works with the 12. So, you got to buy the 12. Um, What else? Um, oh, and since I'm going to be creating content there on the go, um, I really want to, I didn't, I don't want to keep any of my uh, electronic gear, GoPros and cameras and all. And wouldn't you know, the battery is dead, which is why uh, I bought an extra battery. But anyway, um, since I don't, I don't want to keep any of my camera equipment on my bike, so I purchased this. It's by, uh, it's a Mini Ranger Sling. Okay, it's a Sling bag. Love the colors like that. Uh, cool, deep gray different shades of gray and black camo but it's a fan it's not it's not a fanny pack it is a, a sling bag but i love it because it's just the right size for all of my gopro equipment 
And then it has the straps down here where I can attach my uh, tripod to and I can wear it over my shoulder. I can wear it as a sling. And so I'm stoked about this because again, you know, I don't want to keep any of my camera equipment on the bike when we get to, you know, go sightseeing and all of that stuff. I want to keep it all on me, battery packs and all my GoPro and camera equipment in this nice little um, Ranger mini sling. But um, I love it and it is well made. Got it from uh, Amazon. I think it was like $49 or something like that. So, but it's definitely something that I would uh, travel with, you know, on my Can-Am Spider. And it's small enough where I can pack it into my front. Okay, so anyway, there's that. But I think I think that's pretty much it. I think that's pretty much all the stuff that I've, uh, all the little gadgets I got that I want to, you know, travel with for the road outside of, you know, our normal rain gear, um, gaiters to cover my boots, and... Um, uh, what you call it? <sighs> Good Lord. Stirrups, not stirrups, uh, shucks. I forgot what the pants are called, uh, that you put over your jeans and everything. Oh Lord, I'm having a brain fart. I'm just all discombobulated over this bike, but <sighs> it is what it is at this stage. But Hey, um, I'm looking forward to sharing, uh, the prep and preparation on the road to, uh, uh, the Carolinas and the group that the the couple that that's hosting this ride, man, they did a awesome, uh, you know, they even put together a little pamphlet for us, you know, of all the cool stuff. We'll talk more about it, talk more about it later. But so, like I said, get with a really good a chapter. Our chapter is experienced in hosting rides. And when I, you know, they experience when they put together a brochure. Okay of everything okay numbers the stops they even got the gas stops lunch breaks all factored in all that information hotel information into a brochure ride with people who know what they're doing that's all i'm gonna say anyway i love y'all y'all please keep me in prayer with this bike and uh i'll keep you posted on what's up love you peace out